Ladies and gentlemen, uh, brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. I want to thank you all, and in particular the leadership of the Islamic community of Naperville for putting on this forum and giving all the elected officials and candidates an opportunity. This is a huge, huge benefit to the community as well as to the candidates. So thank you very much. I'd like to get, give you all a round of applause for coming. My name is Azam Nizamuddin. I am running for circuit court judge in Japan County for the Patrick O'Shea seat. And I believe that I would like to get your vote for the following reasons. Number one, my experience. I'm an attorney for 20 years. I have worked for a large law firm, a small law firm. I had my own practice. Now I'm general counsel for a company in Oak Brook. I've been a trial attorney for the first 15 years. And currently, I am the chair of the civil law section of the DuPage County Bar Association and the former editor-in-chief of the DuPage County Bar Association Journal. I am highly recommended, in fact, I'm the only person running for the O'Shea seat that is highly recommended by the DuPage Bar Association, and I'm also the only one that is recommended by the Illinois State Bar Association Judiciary Advisory Poll as well. I have received endorsements from two current Congress people. I have received endorsements from four state Senate, uh, state uh, reps, as well as one state Senate, and several DuPage County elected officials as well. But to be frank, not only am I qualified based on what you just heard, why am I running in the year 2020? I believe that it's time for DuPage County particularly the judiciary, to represent all the people of DuPage County, particularly our community. It's high time that happens. <laughs> Secondly, I strongly believe in justice. As a judge, when cases come before me, I will not only apply the relevant law and the relevant facts, but I will have the discretion to look at each cases and apply and make sure that a just result occurs that is fair to all the parties. How can we assure that happens? You can look at my background. For 25 years, I have been an interfaith and civic leader, helping communities come together and standing up for justice. When the travel ban was passed, I was at O'Hare Airport helping stranded passengers, many of them from Muslim countries, whose rights were taken away overnight. Along with many, many committed lawyers, lawyers that had nothing to do with the Muslim community, but simply went to the airport to help out, and all those people deserve tremendous thanks and applause as well. But I didn't sit back, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't sit back and hide who I am and not, you know, discuss this issue. I was invited on Channel 11 Chicago tonight to dis debate the travel ban issue with another person. I've appeared on radio as well as television challenging when this administration was separating families at the border and putting children in cages. I stood up, I publicly spoke out, and I challenged that administration. Based on my background, you will know that when I take the bench, when someone, somebody comes before me as a litigant, I will treat everybody fairly and respectfully, but I will also treat people with tremendous justice so that people are not mistreated. And just in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most important election of our lifetime. It is very vital for our community, the South Asian community, the Muslim community, the African American community, the Hispanic community, everybody, all members of the community to come out and vote on March 17th or earlier. Voting has already started. If you're not registered to vote, make sure you're registered to vote. Make sure that if you have elderly parents or relatives or friends, that they do mail-in ballots, but make sure you have a plan to vote on or before March 17th. And I hope that this election particularly for a judge and other local races that you're listening to, you can make a difference. We, we in Illinois may not be able to make a huge difference for the presidential race, but you sitting here, you literally can make a difference and elect some of the people, including myself, 
to the bench and other positions. So please remember that. You are empowered. You can do this. Let's make it happen. Thank you very much. Quick announcement. The Jamaat Manisha will be after the program. So we'll have a Jamaat Manisha after. Also, 